The monarch of Ijere Kingdom in Ethiopia West local government area of Delta State is Royal Majesty Udure I has called on the federal government of Nigeria to, as a matter of urgency, relocate the headquarters of oil and gas multinational companies close to their base of raw materials, which is the Niger Delta region. The monarch was speaking to journalists in his palace in Jesse Town and advised that to save cost, it would be wise for headquarters of top oil established to be moved closer to their source of raw materials as it will be more economical for them and for the nation. The king brushed aside the excuse of the Niger Delta region not being secured, postulating that the Niger Delta is among the most peaceful regions in the country, while citing a few oil and gas companies blossoming with their headquarters well established in the Niger Delta. Very critical is that of the oil multinational, oil and gas multinational operating in the Niger Delta. The first law of locating industry around the world is that industry must be close to their source of raw material. But it is abnormal that in Nigeria today, the oil companies, the oil and the gas companies that do not have any raw material in Abuja and in Lagos have all their operational headquarters in Lagos. And you know, the Niger Delta people, because they are few people, because they are not highly connected, they are usually blackmailed at every point in time that there is no peaceful atmosphere. But some of us have come to prove them wrong. There is peaceful atmosphere in the Niger Delta. As we speak, Mobile Oil Unlimited has its Headquarters in Ibino, in Akwa Ibom State. And nobody's harassing them there. As we speak, the tallest story building in the entire South South, which is housing the Nigerian Local Content Development Board, is in Yanigua. Nobody's disturbing them. It's a regulatory agency. What if things like Nema and other and other, they have their headquarters in Abuja and Lagos, what are they doing there? So my advocacy this morning is to tell Mr. President to direct Oil Multinational to relocate their headquarters to their respective operational base. And to add that these two agencies, Mobile Oil Unlimited and Nigerian Local Content Board, be commended for taking the lead to come to the Niger Delta. And that as a, tra a traditional ruler, I will want to support them in every way possible to create a more enabling environment. I believe very strongly that relocating these oil headquarters to the Niger Delta, three things are involved. One, cost of production will come down. Two, there will be more mutual understanding between the producing communities and the oil multinational. And three, and very important, there will be more security. There will be more job. And once there is more security and more job, we will have access to more oil production. I don't think this government is looking at that direction. We want to cost operation, we want to cut down operational costs of all that we do in the country. The first step is to ensure that oil and gas multinational relocate their headquarters from wherever they are now, possibly re relocate NNPC to Potakota or Bini. What are they doing in Abuja? It's a regulatory agency. And of recent, because anything that has to do with the Niger Delta, people will come and want to run it down. Some persons have been making advocacy, relocate the headquarters of NC NC uh, uh, Nigerian Local Content Board to Abuja. It has nothing to do in Abuja. The local content board has nothing to regulate in Abuja. What you are regulating is in the Niger Delta. The laws that set up that agency say 20% of employment, of contract, of scholarship, of anything good that has to do with oil communities should come from the local community. That is the agency you want to take to Abuja so that the 20% will become uh, 0%. So, my advocacy this morning 
is first, the federal government should commend these two oil giants, Mobile Oil Unlimited and the Local Content Board, for this bold initiative. And advise Shell, Chevron, Ajib, Konoko Oil, and others to relocate their headquarters back to the Niger Delta. We do not have another home. Let nobody blackmail us in this 21st century that our people are hostile. We don't have hostile people in the Niger Delta. What we have in the Niger Delta are people agitating for a right. And there is a big difference between a man advocating for a right and a man asking for a privilege. A privilege you can be denied. A right is a must. And like, we keep saying it. You drove to my, to my palace now, you saw the road. And if I tell you the numbers of oil wares that are in this kingdom, but if we have a very proactive oil multinational working here, it won't take two months. Most of this place will be cleaned up. What do they do in Lagos? Is to help increase the IGRO of those things, where they don't even have pipelines. In 1998, because of our oil production, we lost over a thousand so in this community one day. Over a thousand so. Uh, Consequently, what other sacrifice do, we, do the government want us to make before we are considered to be a law abiding or obedient people? You're watching Herero TV, and my name is Akbarero Henry Akbos.